Do you believe in magic? You're going to need a lot of it to pull out from the doldrums, from dissatisfaction. Whatever it is, and it doesn't have you being, you know, on your A-game. That can mean a lot of things to a lot of people, whatever their A-game is. But the A-game to me is the absolute. Awesome. In terms of, of the real values of life. Happiness, inside joy, inner joy, inner peace, love, love that is pure. Love that is unselfish. Love that has no strings attached. Those kinds of values. God believe in a lot of magic to pull, pull ourselves into wanting that. To pull ourselves into being motivated for that. Oh, oh, then there's another step after that. And that is to doing whatever is necessary for that. Huh? You guys get what you want. Whatever you want, you're going to go after and get. Whatever is your desire, you're going to go out and get it, right? The big question, though, is then what? Then what? I think it's a big question. So you get it. And you have gotten things. You have fulfilled your desires. Then what? What is it, the next thing that, that, that you think is going to, going to bring you the fulfillment? But there's always a then what? You're always moving on to the next thing. So what I want to bring up to everyone today is, do you believe in magic? Do you believe that the then what can turn into right here, right now, I'm loving this. Right here, right now, I have everything I want. Right here, right now, I couldn't have more peace in my mind and love in my heart. Right here, right now, there is no more then what. Because if you believe in magic, you can, you can pull off anything. You can pull a rabbit out of a hat. You could, you could be going underwater in a, in a locked up box, stuffed inside of it, and somehow you would escape. Now, we have a lot of different things that I believe we need to escape from, for starters. And we need to have that belief that we can escape. And I think some of them is the tyrants of, of negative thoughts. I call them ants, automatic negative thoughts. <laughs> and, and different mood swings. And, and just, just different habits. And, you know, the list can go on and on. But we need a new list. We need, we need so much hope. And so much faith that if we love something long enough, it will reveal its secret to you. And if you love yourself long enough, it's going to reveal all the magic that you already are. I mean, it, the magic is a, is a wonderful word, but we have no idea. that We are, we are way beyond sci-fi, you know. We are source-fi. We are unlimited-fi. Anything goes because your spirit is, is everything in anything. And there's infinite possibilities if you believe in magic, for starters, that you can escape from another ordinary day today or just another way that you're going to look at things like you've always looked at. And we can escape from that and create a little magic. Uh, you know, like an, uh, another way of looking at something. Just a little more happiness even if you don't feel happiness. A little more love even if you don't feel love. A little more joy in the heart that everything is going to be okay. And faith and all those beautiful old-fashioned universal values that if we forget the universal values, the universal truths, we create, we create a lot of disorder. We create a, a lot of stress and suffering and misery for ourselves and our world. Good morning, Loeb. It's so great. I believe you were on last night, right? And Lindsay's on board. That was an awesome stream last night. And then to have back-to-back -back is a way to live life, Loeb. And then we need something at lunch. And we need something maybe right around dinner. You know, do another stream, the, the evening stream, and then back on this morning. And now we really have the, the boot camp training, the soul training. You know, the, the, the musicians unite. The sorcerers, source, S-O-U-R-C-E-R-E-R-S, -E 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 unite, right? So that no matter what's going on in our life, no matter how much in the dumps if we are that we are, that somehow we're going to find the magic, we're going to find the key to lift up our vibration today and have a better day, to have a better outlook. 
Some people won't be able to snap out of that because they don't believe in magic anymore, right? They don't believe that, that anything except that what they're feeling and they're so stuck on that and they so believe it's real and you know how it is. When you're when you when you have a, a real you got a, a flu or a cold and it's really bad you think you're going to die I do anyway, but one way that we can you know get over also this thing about not being satisfied and move on to the next thing and then then what and then what then what is receive a big breath, receive a big breath and this is the last exhale. No more inhales for you, baby. Hey, save up. Oh, I was thinking of you. I sent you a note already. Isn't this early for you, Seva? This is way early for you. you. You're a new girl. You're on a roll, baby. You're a soul awakening. Man, oh man, I sent you a note. I was seeing if you wanted to meet today for tea. Yeah, or tomorrow for tea. Good morning, arise. Arise and shine, buddy. <laughs> yeah, well, no, we're, we're talking about uh, we need a little magic. To, <laughs> yay! We need, we need a lot of magic to change the course and direction of our habits and our moods and our, and our conditioning, basically, you know. And it's going to be a, a full out. It's going to be, if, if, if you hang out with me, we're going to get into a full out, a full out training program night and day training program so we can pull off the ultimate magic and the ultimate magic is to be happy. You know, a, a steady happiness. The ultimate magic is to find a source of love and have it fill you to overflow so you do not need it from others and you're not looking at that selfish love. It's not even love. I wouldn't even call it where you want something from someone and somehow they fulfill that and then you fulfill them. And well, if you don't fulfill me on that, then I don't know if I really love you. And you know, that kind of, no. It's the real love. It's unselfish. It's pure. It sees the person as they really are. So beautiful, right? So light. It really is another level. But to get to that other level, boy, do we have to do we have to believe in magic and boy do we have to really really introspect when when we're not satisfied and then we go into the then what then what then what then what you know if you get what you want in life is that going to do it you know if you if this relationship works out is that going to do it for you <laughs> you know right you, you guess there's so what would do it for you? And I'm telling you one radical love ninja practice is that this is your last breath right here. So you got to get real, really quick. If this, ah, oh, that's it. It ain't coming back in. I'm not going to be here much longer. Bye, everybody. It was nice knowing you. The breath's not coming back in. You got to get real when you practice something like that, right? Because then what? <laughs> then what? Then what? When you leave this body, then what, huh, baby? Do you have any clue? Do you even want to know what happens then? Because I think that may be where the sorcerers and the musicians, the real musicians in life that can get themselves out of moods like that and out of a, a, of a, a tailspin like that, that can get them out of a maybe doing a wrong action that's going to bring a lot of pain to them and others or saying an unkind word or something to a loved one that could destroy that relationship right then and there, they're able to pull it out, right? And I believe they get their source, they get their, they get all their magic tricks from knowing what, what is on the other side, what is inside, what are these laws of the universe, right? All the great ones do that. Good morning, Christine. Good morning, Maya G. And so... So this idea that we die in today, we're dying on this breath today is going to, you know, force you if you want to in a good way because you get to practice it. It's not the real thing for most of us. You get to practice really understanding where the magic comes from, where the juice of you comes from. It's not of this world. 
You're not, you're not creating yourself from a physical, from a human limited consciousness. You create it from a soul, an immortal soul that's creating and sustaining and giving life and giving you the, the uh, instruments of thoughts and feelings and, and energy right now and, and choice point and all that stuff right now. The magic is an inside job, baby. It's an inside job. And so whatever, whatever you can do to muster up an inside job today, meaning you are going to reflect on the purpose of your life, you're going to reflect on who you really are. And I'm telling you, it has nothing to do with the, with the histrionics, the hysterics of what's going on in daily life in your life. It's not have nothing to that. And you, that could be just sitting, sitting down with somebody and gossiping, you know. It is histrionics. That is just hysterics. That is just off course completely. It might just help you to escape from that. No, I'm talking about a deeper introspection where you have no more than what options. You have to have trust and go to where one goes when they no longer in a physical body. You're formless infinite beings. Don't you think that that would be a very powerful practice, what I'm saying? Last breath. It's it. You certainly won't be worrying about the stuff that is the then next for you today, huh? It's always the next thing, isn't it? Because this thing, we're so restless in this thing. We're so dissatisfied on the inside. And we keep looking for some, the next thing to think that it's going to satisfy us. It never will. It's like happiness is just around the corner. You think you, that, that means you're giving up all potential to use the magic of your soul, the magic of your willpower, the magic of your hope and faith and trust to pull the rabbit out of the hat right now and be in love. And be okay to be happy right now. I'm telling you, if you love something long, long enough, it reveals its secret to you. This is your for you, Lyab. If you love something long, long enough, it reveals its secret. To you and it's so so beautiful it's so beautiful and it's so so beautiful this magical moment this magical moment this magical moment if you love something long, long enough, it reveals its secret to you. And if you love something long, long enough, it reveals its secret to you. And it's so, so you. It's so beautiful, it's so, so beautiful, this magical moment, this magical moment, this magical moment of love, if you love something so go for this moment go for this last breath so that you can answer that question then what and you can almost put that one on pause that the next moment is going to have something for you if you're even aware of the next moment we're just restless and we're the restlessly looking for something but we're not really looking for something we're just restless right that we can put to rest the restlessness right now and find the magic right now inside our heart inside not about you not about me not about nothing in this outer world all about the magic that is creating this world the absolute amazingness beyond sci-fi beyond anything you could ever imagine magic of life the wonder the awe of life 
So love this moment, okay? If you love something long, long enough, it reveals its secret to you. And if you love something long, long enough, it reveals its secret to you. And it's so, so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And it's so, so beautiful. This magical moment. This magical moment. This magical moment of love. And it's so. exhale for this incarnation there it goes now when you can practice that that this is the last moment you eliminate the then next it's something around the corner that's got you you know pulling at you to run after and it's nothing that even going to bring you any kind of light or joy or happiness and we can exhale out and find peace in this moment find happiness in the magic in this moment, find love in the magic of this moment, in the truth of you and me, in the truth of everyone, and the truth of what's happening underneath the scenes in this 3D world, beneath the well, seeming solids, which there are no solids, electromagnetic waves of energy and light, everything is. Do you see? Don't you see how wonderful this moment is? How full of joy it is. This is why I love to get together with you. Because in spite of ourselves, in spite of our belief systems, our BS, in spite of all the questions, in spite of not liking each other, in case that's the case, because some people come on here with the goal to not like you, right? And that's not just here, it's wherever they go. In spite of all that, we could pull the rabbit out of the hat this morning. We could pull some happiness out of our soul this morning. We could pull some love out of the source of our uh, that is our soul within us and get some real love cooking. We could bring some we could pull some faith, more faith than we've ever had that today is going to be the best day of the rest of our forever today. You see, and that we can finally respect each other, that we can finally just be really content in a moment in one conversation with every person we have today not wanting some not being restless not doing the iPhones not doing anything but loving really appreciating this soul for who that soul is and making sure they feel your love and they feel your light and they see that you are someone who is not caught up in this daydream in this dream of life but it's somebody special because you are special. We are special. So that's all. <laughs> hello. Hello. We have Haas. Uh, Haas. <laughs> so Haas, no games. Sorry, I destroyed that name. But listen, it doesn't take away the friendship that I have and the, and the warm invite and the welcome of love that you are on this on this station this morning and Darth Vapors thank you for your positivity always and uh, and and Clark the spirit path of love is like a treasure hunt we find hidden treasures along the way peace wisdom oh, I love that just to mention a few of these treasures I love that don't you guys love what Clark just wrote 
You know, don't you love it when people put out something that, that's, that brings up the spirit, right? That lifts up the spirit. You have a choice to do that. Try it on for size today. Be positive even though you don't want to. Say something nice to someone even if, though, though you wouldn't normally do that, right? Walk along with so much light and hope in your heart that you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is the best day of the rest of your life. All day. Hey, hey all day. Bonjour. <laughs> Hello, did I even greet you yet, M60? But you know my love is constant. Not my love. Not my little thinking love. Because that ain't love. Not the little me, you know, uh, with my all my other stuff going on and just saying the word but not really meaning it. When you say I love you, it must be forever. No, I'm talking about the big love. A love that, that you activate... You, you crack open the source love in you, which is the soul. And you, why? Because you will to love. You decide that you're going to will to love no matter what. So a great avatar, a great liberated being said these words, I will love, I will love until every soul, every star, every forsaken creature is lodged in my heart. I'm going to love everything. Soul, stars, forsaken creatures, good people, bad people. If you're going to put labels on that, I wouldn't put any labels on a human, even though their actions are doing one thing that you could really just pin them to, nail them to the cross, you know. No, they're just a, they're just a little child that doesn't know any better, and we need to forgive that little child and know that we all have are doing some crazy stuff, you know. We all are making some boo-boos, but there are no really boo-boos. We're just little children waking up learning to crawl, learning to be musicians and sorcerers and sorceresses, right? So we could pull, we could pull out what a, a bad upbringing, you know, and nailing our parents and blaming them and blaming this and blaming the people who made our lives miserable that we could pull all those labels off out of the hat of our soul and, you know, make sure that we are doing the inside job to awaken our own heart and leaving everyone else alone, letting everyone else be. Man, now that is quite a soul hero and soul hero. Heroine, being nice and showing love costs nothing, but it gives so much. Ooh, don't we love all day? All day, we could be out hanging out with all day, all day today, man. Woo, there's somebody who's sharing some really good energy to all of us. And Master Tom, tell something about the meditation love style, please. Well, it's the breath in where you receive with all your trust and faith vertigo, the breath in of a, of a source of you, buddy, you know, faith and trust. And the breath out is you just letting go like it's your last breath and just surrendering to the light and the love that you are forever are, you see? And it's love, man. It's light that you are. So love in, love out. Light in, light out. But each breath has to be the last one, brother. You have no time to mess around and try to figure it out. You just have to go inside to your trust and your faith and your intuition and have a love affair with the source of you, which is the soul of you, like none other. First love. It's your first love. Yeah. Here's the long song on first love. You're my first love since the beginning of time. You're the only one. You've always been mine. You're my first love. Now I'm first in line. You're my first love. Now I'm first in line to give you all my And because you're my first my first love since the beginning of time You're the only one 
you've always been mine You're my first love, now I'm first in line And you're my first love, now I'm first in line To give you all I am Because you're my first love Because you're my first love You're my first love since the beginning of time You're the only one You've always been mine You're my first love Now I'm first in line You're my first love Now I'm first in line To give you all I am Because you're my first love To give you all I am Because you're my first love I mean, the first love, the source of love, the origin of love, you know, you gotta, you gotta kind of have to put on that faith hat and know that we are the love of the first love that created love, that made everybody in the love likeness, that we all are that love. It is soul love, because the soul is the love, the soul is the light of you, the soul is the peace of you, and there is our, our love meditation vertigo, because you asked that question. So it's the first love. Every breath is first love. Loyalty to the first love, right? Yeah, love is the greatest magic that I could see. So, yeah. So this is the kind of day that we have, and all of you are adding so much to the possibility of everybody on this stream, you know, finding that, that switch on the inside of them today that can, can pull, out, pull out some kind of magic for them. Everyone is going to be different, but some kind of, some kind of compassion when, when it's not that easy to have compassion for yourself. Some kind of self-love when you feel like, wow, I really, I really don't amount to very much, right? And some kind of forgiveness when you, you're absolutely sure that this thing that happened or what she said or he said is not, not going to forgive. That you make the choice, it's not, I'm not going to forgive that. You know, where you've drawn a line where your forgiveness is conditional. So you want to just see if you could pull the magic out of that. That stuck belief and, and, and forgive and forget. Because all we have is today, right? All we have is the breath going out and that's it. Where we are in that moment is everything. Life is over. So you got to figure out when life is over where you stand. Because when it's over, then next, when we leave the shores of this earth, you're going to be very happy that you were happy and that you decided that every moment I was going to choose happiness, I was going to choose love, I was going to choose peace, because you'll go to the other side in more love than you ever could dream about, in more light and more happiness than you can ever dream about. The transition will be, seam, will be seamless and flawless. You'll be wide awake. There will be no fear. There will be no dread. There will be no regret. But this is the kind of moments that we need to have. Does that make sense? This is, this is called, do you believe in magic? <laughs> Love is universal. It tr transcends all things. I know it's universal. It's bigger than you and me. And thank goodness, Darth, that it loves us no matter what shenanigans that we are up to. <laughs> you know? No matter what shenanigans, love loves us and that is the soul of us. And the soul is projecting your body on the screen of human consciousness and time. And it is the cause of your body. It's giving you the instruments to think, to choose, and the, and the feelings and the sensations. But it's coming from a soul ray that is a light ray that is producing the hologram of you and me on this conscious screen of human consciousness and time and space. So knowing that to be the true magic, why don't we just, on the exhale breath, let go and let soul. Let go and let soul run the show. Let the universal love run the show. The love stream in life through your heart. Woo! Right? The peace. The, the imperturbable peace. You know, the peace that, that it transcends all understanding. Let it just be, you know, just be so motionless, so thoughtless, so desireless, so feelingless that there's no ego. You just 
become absolutely a master of stillness. You become a, a master of turning your attention within and pulling all the energy that's going out and pulling it within. So and it can reside in your chakras, the chakras that are filled with divinity and housed with infinite consciousness. And when all that energy pulls in and you can focus with faith and trust, you can pull out the magic of awakening each of your chakras, those wheels of divinity that are in each vertebra of your spine, and you will light up like a Christmas tree and stay lit up for the rest of eternity. So this, this pulling, do you believe in, in magic and pulling uh, um, this moment him being whatever, ordinary, restless, not even in the moment, right? Just concerned about everything or anything that's pulled you away from this present moment of love. You know, now we're going to capture. We're going to capture each moment today. That's all we can do. Mahatma Gandhi said, I would have committed suicide years ago if I didn't live in the present moment. Okay? Too much stress. We're not designed to be thinking of the next thing when we're in this moment. We were designed perfectly and powerfully and immortally to deal with this moment only. Because a lot of people are dissatisfied in the moments. They're not feeling good because they are out of tune with the universal love. No, you're going to feel not so good when you're out of tune with the universal peace and the universal forgiveness and the universal kindness and the universal compassion. You're not going to feel good at all. So you're not going to be interested in being in the present moment. Why would I want to be in the present moment? I don't feel good. So I'm going to go numb out. Right? I'm going to do anything to get my mind off of the truth that I am not feeling good about myself. Right? So you could go way tailspin out on that one, man. So when you can deal with the present moment and decide that you're going to pull some happiness out of the hat of your soul consciousness, some peace, some kind of kindness, some kind of letting go of a negative thought, some kind of just, you know, taking, taking soul stock of this moment and seeing what kind of value you can pull out of this moment, value that makes you feel good that automatically, intrinsically, organically helps you to feel better because you are the ultimate feel-good, baby. You are the immortal soul. Yeah. Hey, Golden, that's wonderful healing stones and everything, but we're talking about the soul, man. The soul of you, which is the, the healer number numero uno. That soul made in the perfect oneness, likeness, essence of the infinite spirit. Yeah, stones are nice if they remind you of the truth of you. Because a stone is a stone. But if you understand in the magic that behind the stone is infinite light and infinite love and pure spirit, oh, there you go. Then the stone holds power, healing power. But you already are the ultimate stone, man. You're the, you're the souls. You're a stoner. You're a soul stoner. You're stoned on the brilliance and the happiness and the joy of your soul. Yeah. Freedom, freedom. I feel the love all around me. Freedom, freedom. I feel the joy, freedom, freedom. I feel the love all around me, freedom, freedom. I feel the peace. I'm happy, 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 happy. I am free. I'm happy, 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 happy. I'm free, freedom, freedom. I feel the love all around me, freedom, freedom. I feel the joy, yeah, 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 freedom, freedom. I feel the love all around me, freedom, freedom. I feel the 
the peace, yeah. I'm happy, 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 happy. I am free. We can pull this off. We can pull off the magic right now if you just focus on this. If you just believe in this, in the magic of this moment. Look at, just be aware of your mind, where it wants to go. You know, we're singing a very positive, powerful song here. And there's a possibility, if you want some magic in your life, to believe in what we are singing about. And even if you don't believe, to practice believing anyway that there is a lot higher side of you that you're given credit for. Not just a higher side, but a forget, forever happy side of you. And that is the real you. All this unhappiness and mood swings and fluctuations and good days and bad days, that's the unreality. That ain't the real thing. That's the daydream, baby. That's the illusion of this creation. The soul has created your body, which is then a hologram, and you can choose to be in your hologram and think that you are the thoughts and think that you are the feelings and think that you are doing something here. But it's the soul source of you that is giving you that illusion to choose to be eluded by, deluded by, or to focus on the light that's creating the delusion of you. You see what I'm saying? Okay, it don't matter. Let's just sing this a little bit. Freedom, freedom, I feel the love all around me. Freedom, freedom, I feel the joy. Freedom, freedom, I feel the love all around me. Freedom, freedom, I feel the peace. And just believing in the truth is going to make you I'm happy, 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 happy and free. I'm happy, 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 happy and free. I'm happy, 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 free. I'm happy, 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 happy and free. One more round, okay? Just believe in this. Just believe in this moment. Don't give yourself a headache today. Don't don't drain all your good energy today. Don't scatter your concentration today. Don't let it go all out and everywhere in every direction. And then it's going to be so hard to, to like these little little mustard seeds. You know, they you have all these mustard seeds, and if you grind them, you can get the oil of the magic. You know, you can grind them, and you get the magic of the oil. Well, these are concentration seeds. If you scatter them out in the world today, you're going to have a very hard time gathering back each little piece of your concentration you're going to be real scattered right and then there's no oil magic of the oil you see and because you have to churn the like your focused mind you have to kind of grind that focused mind on truth on a positive all day long constantly and then you get the oil of soul realization baby freedom freedom I feel the love all around me, freedom, freedom, I feel the joy, yeah, bless the Lord, I love that golden, freedom, freedom, bless the Lord within us, huh, yeah, the Lord is you, buddy, you know, the peace is you, the light is you. You're all of the above. You're made in the likeness of the infinite source spirit. You're everything, buddy. Celebrate that. Freedom, freedom. I feel the love all around me. Freedom, freedom. I feel the joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freedom, freedom. I feel all around me, freedom, freedom, I feel the peace just here and now, I'm happy, 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 happy and free, I'm happy, 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 I am free, I'm happy, 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 I am free. 
I'm happy, 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 happy. I am free. Hey, good one, Darth. Now we have a product there. It's called the happy oil, man. <laughs> good one, Darth. I've never heard of, a, of an oil that's called the happy oil, but that's a brilliant idea. I'm sure they have, the, have those in, the, in those essence, you know, those that's oil essences and stuff like that, but happy oil, I love it. And then just put it all over you, put it on everybody, spread it around the world. You watch, you know, put it on a plant that, that needs some, <laughs> some loving and put the little oil on the plant that's struggling. And all of a sudden that plant's going to grow for you. You know, you put it on any situation and it transforms the situation, alchemizes the situation, the happy oil, alchemizes the situation from maybe sadness to being happy, right? From, from, from a place of misunderstanding to understanding, right? You put a little happy oil on your love relationships at home or friendship relationships or relationships with your boss at work, right? You just don't, don't tell the boss that you're putting a little, little oil and he doesn't look and you just tap it up, put it on his shoulder right he doesn't even know it or on his clothes or on his desk it's pretty powerful stuff just get it near with the intention that you're giving this person the happy oil and then all of a sudden you have a, a happier relationship with your boss I mean there it is the happy oil it's called alchemy vertigo G you vertigo skillet alchemy buddy and M60 alchemy Christine alchemy the donut man Always grind up my herbs with my oil and it sets me at peace. Those euphoric smells bring me closer to our Lord. Love you, Donut Smasher. <laughs> hey, we got a bunch of soul rebels on here today. We have a bunch of awakening beings on the, on the channel this morning. Way to go, everybody. You're making life a, 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 a better possibility for everybody on the planet. Thank you so much for that. But let's keep going. Because, you know, there's no limit to how powerful we can become in the truth of ourselves, right? There's no, there's no, there's no limitations on how much we can believe in our super soul powers, you know, which is the extreme magic, which is the, this extreme super soul hero and super soul heroine, right? Spirit, soul, love has changed us. Everything else changes all the time. That's a guarantee, I know. Yeah, change is, change is a guarantee or a... Is a guarantee, uh, you know, whether what you're going to do about it is optional, I guess is what I'm trying to say, right? Well, we're going to take the changes of today and be musicians and sorcerers and sorceresses and make sure that we do our magic on the changes that are going to come up in this changing world today. And we alchemize it, we transform it to I'm happy, 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 happy. Or I'm living in the present moment of love, whatever way you want to look at it. Level 100 Alchemy Inc. Look at you guys today. Man. Woo! Everybody is like lit up. I'm telling you, that's the magic. It's the magic. Come on. We're just having a good time and we're lighting up that part of us which is very lightable because it is the light of us, <laughs> right? We're giving it all the trust and faith and hope that we can. I love it. We are living in this present moment of love. We are living in this present moment of love. Love. No more past, only this beautiful now. No more past, only this beautiful now. <laughs> we are living in this present, oh moment of love. Oh, M60, you're still going through physical things, but we're still sending you healing love and healing vibrations and radiant, radiant Shakti healing energy, brother. Thanks for coming on. This is brilliant. This is how that heartburn is going to go away. It's going to turn in for a heart that's burning with joy and happiness. And you're going to alchemy the heartburn into a heart that's burning for love and happiness, brother. That's the magic. It's the magic, man. We tapped in this morning. We are living in this present moment of love. 
We are living in this present moment of love. No more past, only this beautiful now. No more past, only this beautiful now. Love, love, love. This present moment of love, this present moment of love, living with you, oh spirit, in this moment of love, living with you, oh spirit, in this moment of love, living with you, oh spirit, in this moment of love, living with you, oh spirit. Spirit in this moment of love, living with you, oh Spirit, in this moment of love. One more round, okay? We'll wrap up the magic, put it into our heart, and let the heart then do its alchemy and more magic on the magic. So all of us are blown away today by how beautiful, how wonderful. What a miracle life is, and how beautiful we are, and everyone and everything is. We are living in this present moment of love. We are living in this present moment of love. No more past, only this beautiful now. No more past. Only this beautiful now. Here we go. Oh, love, 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 love. This present moment of love, this present moment of love, living with you, oh spirit. In Living with you, oh Spirit, in this moment of love. Living with you, oh Spirit, in this moment of love. Living with you, oh Spirit, in this moment of love. Living with you, oh Spirit, in this moment of love. Big breath, everybody. And then as you let it out, that's the last exhale. But we're in the magic of this moment because what's next when the breath doesn't want to breathe in anymore, when it's time for you to slip into your shiny essence, what's next is pure magic. So magic. So illuminating love and light eternal. Ah, Inhale another big breath. It's the last one. Exhale. Ah. So you practice that now to pull out of the hat, the soul hat, the magic of this present moment of love, this miracle of eternal life while in a seemingly changing life, birth and death sickness and health, love and hate, that you awake from the duality and enter into the realm of pure soul magic. Every moment, every day, because we had all day on with us today. So all day magic. Thank you, Donut Smasher. For, for making those essences of oil. Thank you for whoever said we had the happy hour, happy oil. 
<laughs> right? Mickey Light, man, we are on a roll. I just want to, I want to have, you know me, Mickey. Let's keep rolling it, baby. You know now. You know the roll now. We're going to keep rolling it. I wanted to almost put something together tonight to get our faces on the, on the stream, you know. <laughs> we'll be seeing feeling magic of everything today. Woohoo! Per I know, right, M60? Pure positive energy today. Each of you added to that. We all brought some magic. Oh, we bought a magic potion. Number nine. We bought some magic of our heart and our sincerity and our goodness. And we all mixed it up together. And we created what? The happy oil. <laughs> Love you. We're the Love Force Revolution. See you tomorrow. And as Mickey just said, we will be seeing and feeling the magic of everything today. There it is. Said by Mickey Light. Happy oil, spread it around. We're the Love Force Revolution. <laughs>